the renewable energy market has been booming over the past two decades. Earlier, many countries perceived renewable energy sources RES, as a forced concession to environmentalists and did not believe in a prompt transition to clean sources. Now everything has changed. In 2020, the European Union green generation left behind the coal and gas industries for the first time in history. The United States intends to increase its industrial scale generation capacity by more than 30 gigawatts in 21 years. Against this background, many people wondered who is leading the race for alternative energy today? You are on the Innovative Techs channel, and right now we will go over how China became the green dragon and seized the leadership in the field of RES. Before we get to the main question, let's take a look at the latest trends in the global renewable energy market. To begin with, let us clarify that the concept of a leader in this area is rather vague. If we take the countries with the best ratio of the total RES capacity excluding hydropower and the population, then we get the following result. Iceland, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, and Finland. In other words, it is much easier for small countries to convert their citizens to green energy. Only Germany stands out in this list, which has recently managed to achieve a significant breakthrough in the field of alternative sources. And this is with a population of over 80 million people. However, as soon as we look at the total capacity of the green sector and the countries that have made significant progress in this direction, our top five leaders will instantly change. The fifth place will go to Germany and the fourth place will go to India. Next is Brazil, and then the United States. As for first place, it goes to China. In 2016, the so-called 13th Energy Five-Year Plan was launched in China, within which it was planned to spend $360 billion on the development of renewable sources. Thanks to this plan and modern technologies, the Celestial Empire has managed to achieve impressive results on the global green energy map. To fully grasp the scale of the Green Dragon operation, it is necessary to understand China's motives. Why is the country so active in the transition to renewable energy? The answer to this question lies in several factors at once. Reducing the level of air pollution. This is one of the main reasons for close attention of the Celestial Empire to renewable energy sources. In 2013, Seven of the 13 cities with the worst air pollution were in China, according to Tsinghua University. It turned into a real ecological disaster, and stories with large settlements trapped in smog still appear in news reports. The University of California at Berkeley estimates that 1.6 million Chinese citizens die each year from air pollution. The economic losses reach half a billion dollars social tension. The fact mentioned earlier gives rise to the second problem, constant discontent among the population. When the peak of environmental problems reached its extreme in 2013 to 2014, a wave of mass protests swept across the country. People demanded change, and the local leadership heard them. The third factor is economic. The sheer scale of the Chinese industry requires colossal fuel costs. China is among the leaders in the import of minerals such as oil, gas, and in terms of coal, the country is both the world's largest producer and the most voracious consumer. It still ranks first in the production of energy generated by burning coal, and all this makes the PRC highly dependent on fossil resources. Any price disturbances in the market and interruptions in the supply of raw materials turns into economic problems. The last aspect is the political influence and an opportunity to be on the list of leaders in one of the most promising industries in the near future. The energy sector is undergoing a global restructuring right now, whether someone wants it or not, and China intends to take a dominant position in the RES market. Now that we've figured out the motives of the Celestial Empire, it's high time to look at the successes of the Red Dragon. The leadership of the PRC like the governments of the EU and the United States, has provided powerful state support to the green sector. As soon as politicians feel the hidden potential of RES, and this was done with the diligence inherent in the Asian region. 
By 2030, it is planned to meet one-fifth of China's electricity needs via RES. European experts predict that about 36% of the total increase in solar energy capacity in the next five years will be in this country. Moreover, 60% of all solar panels supplied to the world market are produced here. The situation is similar with wind energy, but here the mentioned growth rate will reach 40%. In 2020 only, 71.67 gigawatt wind farms were commissioned. Financial resources are actively invested not only in increasing the capacity of RES, but also in new developments related to this industry. For example, China is the leader in terms of investment in the rapidly growing energy efficiency market. By 2016, the Red Dragon had invested more than $1 trillion in this direction. Add to this the largest electric vehicle market, a doubling of capacity for the production of the latest batteries, and the development of point innovations like smart meters for electricity, and you will understand why China has become the undisputed leader in renewable energy in the shortest period of time. It is important to understand that the path to the title of Green Dragon was not easy for the giant from East Asia. Even now, the Celestial Empire suffers from regular problems associated with the active development of alternative energy sources. For example, in 2017 it turned out that 30% of the energy generated by wind and solar power plants in northwest China was unused. There was simply nowhere to store it. To solve this problem, billions of dollars had to be spent on the construction of high voltage lines. Among the most notable projects is the construction of a 1.6 thousand kilometer line from Qinghe to Henan province. This ultimately cost the country 3.2 billion dollars. Another problem is the lack of sufficient energy storage capacity. Therefore, the government began to subsidize and promote projects related to the production of batteries. In addition to collaborating with various companies specialized in advanced energy storage systems, the PRC is building huge stations with powerful batteries. Near the city of Dalian, Rongqi Power plans to build an 800 megawatt energy storage facility by 2023. For comparison, in Australia the design capacity of Tesla's power bank built on a dispute was 100 megawatts. Later the capacity was increased to 150 megawatts. Unfortunately, no one has cancelled the influence of political factors on the transition to RES. The trade war with the United States, price volatility in the renewable energy market, as well as the global consequences of the COVID-19 epidemic have led to the fact that the growth rate of the green sector in China began to slow down. Some programs to subsidize alternative energy have been cut. Nevertheless, the impulse issued by the government of the Celestial Empire from the period of 2016 to 2020 turned out to be so powerful that it not only made the country a world leader in this industry, but also provided inertial movement forward for a couple of decades. What do you think? Will China remain the undisputed leader of renewable energy sources after the year of 2030? And will the United States be able to outstrip the eternal rival in the face of the Red Dragon? Please, don't forget to share your opinion in the comments below the video, as well as subscribe to the channel and press the like button if you liked this video. This is Innovative Techs. See you soon and take care.